Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for joining me this Christmas. I want to wish you all a happy holidays. Also, I'd like to thank Joop van het Hack, the writer of tonight's story, for allowing me to translate and narrate the story. Flappy is a Dutch story, or rather song, and one of my very favorites. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's jump into nice still. Flappy. It was Christmas morning, 1961. I know it all too well. My rabbit cage was empty. Mother told me I was not allowed to come inside the shed. If I would play nicely, I would get something tasty. She didn't know either where Flappy could be, so she would ask father. But because he was busy in a little bicycle shed, I had to search for Flappy for a small hour. He probably walked somewhere on the grass, but hadn't I closed the cage firmly, just like I did every single evening. I had even come back last evening. I didn't know why I did that. I stood long in front of that cage, like I knew what I know now. It was first Christmas day, 1961. We searched for Flappy. Father, of course, searched along, along the trees and the water, but not in the little bicycle shed. Because he couldn't be there, right? And I shook my head no. We searched together until the coffee. My family drank coffee, but I wasn't thirsty. I thought about Flappy and the freezing cold of the night. My head hung low with tears of sadness dripping off my face. But hadn't I closed the cage firmly? Just like I did every single evening. I had even come back last evening. I didn't know why I did that. I just stood long in front of the cage. Like I knew what I know now. It was first Christmas day, 1961. The family ate noisily, but it didn't matter to me. I thought about Flappy. My own little Flappy. Where could he be? I could not swallow a single bite. After the soup came the main dish, and my father spoke quite funny. Look, Joop, there's Flappy then. And there I witnessed him on a silver plate in three pieces. I still do. For the first time in my life, I saw father as a horrible man. I ran upstairs, screaming and stamping, and cried on the bedspread for a good hour, then cursed on top of the stairs and screamed, Floppy is mine! I stood in front of the window for a long time. The cage looked lonely. It was second Christmas day, 1961. Mother knows all too well. Father's bed was empty. And I told her that she was not allowed to come inside the shed. If she played nicely, she would get something tasty. <laughs> 